Hey everyone, happy Monday. Today's September 26th. I had to run out on Friday and was tied up all weekend, so I did not have a chance to get out the weekly video update uh, in its normal form. So just wanted to touch base this morning just to kind of uh, give a few thoughts going into this week. Uh, obviously, so two weeks ago with the CPI number coming out, big move lower. That was on a Wednesday. And then all of last week was pretty, pretty red in, as far as stocks go. And so what, what happened to our positions? Well, we got blown out of some of our woodpecker butterflies, right, to the downside. So we had to close several of those out. We also took uh, some losses, um, had to exit on our couple of our calendar trades, our double calendars, because these are just these are just massive moves. So one thing I, I think is is important, well, a couple things. One, I've been getting a lot of questions about how do we how do we hedge a, you know calendar spreads or you know how, what's the best way to hedge? And the reality is the calendar spreads that we do, they are defined risk. And we have a very specific way of getting out of those when they're losing trades. Just because you have two weeks of massive, you know, I mean, these are massive moves. I mean, these are beyond the expected move. So you have to, you just, you have to take a perspective that if this happens, you will take losses. You can't, you can't plan to hedge for that because 80% of the time, it's not going to happen. 80% of the time, it's going to stay within that expected range. Uh, and, and so you really just have to look at this as um, these are these are the 20% that you're going to take losses on. Um, and, and, you know, I know I beat this. I beat this over and over and over again, but it comes down to position size. And so I think taking the mindset of, oh, the market conditions are bad, so I'm not going to trade this strategy right now, I think that's a mistake. I think that you need to take a perspective of, hey, we got hit. It, it pushed out of our range. That's not normal. That's not, that doesn't fall within our 80% our probability that we usually uh, book profits on. This falls in the probability of the 20% that we, that we lose on. And, and that's, that's just how it is. That's, that's part of trading. You know, trying to change what you're doing every time you take a loss and trying to figure out how you could have avoided that loss um, while, while it's good to always be continuing to grow and te- tweak your strategy, I think it's a mistake to constantly change your strategy every time you take a, you know, go through a drawdown or, or have a situation like this, which just happens some of the time, you know, that's just, and, and we never know in advance when that's going to happen. Now, with, would I say reducing position size is an okay thing to do? The answer to that is always, 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 always. So, you know, having the mindset of, you know, just it's, the market conditions are bad, so I'm going to stop trading, I don't, I think is a mistake, but I think reducing position size in any situation is is a good thing to kind of get that, get the flow back in the strategy, get the flow back in the market, get your confidence back in the strategy or whatever it is that you might be thinking of either consciously or subconsciously reducing position size is always a good thing until you kind of get to understand or a better perspective or whatever it is. And then you can kind of scale back up to your normal position size. I I think all, I think that's always a a good option. Uh, Obviously. So Monday we're starting out. S and P's are down another 20 pre-market. We've got about 40 minutes, 50 minutes until the, uh, until the market opens. So we'll see what happens, but um, you know, I will, I will not stop putting on our kind of our core positions here just because we got, we got pushed out. So I think that was kind of the main, the main theme of what I wanted to talk about. And then as, as far as hedges go, you know, uh, one, one thing that I, I used to do a lot of is just carry always a, a certain amount of short Delta. And I've, I've talked about this in the community several times, but I've gotten some, some additional questions about it recently. And just to just to help you understand as far as how how I'm managing um, my my overall different accounts is I'm I am I am just exclusively using NTT as my directional bias. Okay, so let me bring up an NTT chart. So I I've been 
I've been very short overall in my directional bias. Now, Friday after that big drop, I I essentially cut out of all of my all of my short positions that I had futures, uh, NTT portfolio positions, uh, you know any anything else that that um, was kind of short delta. I pretty much cut out of, and so I'm I'm long right now. Now we're still in the downtrend. Her trend candles are still red, and I just said I'm, I'm using NTT for my directional bias, but when, when you get a flush like that, I also just wanted to take profits on those. And I don't mind being a little bit long here. I mean, what, what we know about bear markets is you can see is you can have some very serious kind of rip your face off rallies. Right. And so I don't mind being long here. Will it will it keep going down? Maybe it will. Will we have a massive bounce today? Maybe we will. We don't know. But but the bottom line is it, it's it's more about just kind of taking profits. If we do get a bounce, I'll kind of start reloading my shorts. But but for now, I'm just uh, I'm a little bit biased, and that's really just with delta neutral positions that have pushed to the downside. And so now I've got long delta because I need a bounce back to kind of get back to center. So anyway, hopefully that helps. Uh, we'll be back on track with a, kind of our standard full go through every position, every trade. Uh, weekly update next week, but I just wanted to at least uh, touch base this morning and kind of give you some initial thoughts that I've been thinking about. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.